Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk about paint protection film. Specifically, whether I should have my incoming 2019 Porsche 911 GT3 paint protected. When I originally bought my Ferrari 458, I elected to have the front clip paint protected with PPF. And I don't regret that decision. When I purchased the Ferrari, my thought process was, it's a supercar and I don't want any blemishes on it. So I elected to pay $3,000 and I had Ferrari bring in somebody to apply the paint protection film. Fast forward two years, the front clip looks great, but I'm starting to question whether I should have put the paint protection film on it. So that brings me to my question for you. Should I even consider putting paint protection film on the GT3 or should I just leave it unprotected? I won't be tracking the GT3. I won't be driving it every day. Mostly it'll be driven on the weekends in rotation with the 458. So I'm saying to myself, should I even spend three grand getting the front clip protected when I'm not gonna really be using the GT3 that much? And furthermore, I'm okay if there's a rock chip or two on the GT3. It's not gonna be the end of the world for me. I'm not that OCD about my cars. Yes, I do want my cars to be clean and neat, but if I get a rock chip or two, as long as it's not a huge cosmetic nightmare where it's a big old gigantic rock chip that you can't miss, then I'm okay with that. When I owned my 2016 BMW M5, I didn't get that paint protected and it was fine. When I owned my 2015 Porsche 911 GTS, I didn't have that paint protected and it was fine as well. I don't have the SL63 that I currently have paint protected. I don't have my Range Rover SVR paint protected and I'm okay with that. So I'm asking you guys to give me your opinion on PPF. Should I or should I not consider paint protecting the GT3 with PPF? Now I know there are some folks out there that'll say, hey, you're gonna diminish the value of the car when you're ready to resell it if you got rock chips, two or three rock chips. Well, I, 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 I differ on that. Um, I follow a guy on YouTube by the name of Matt Mormon who owns a company called Upsess Garage and he also has a YouTube channel called Upsess Garage and Matt owned a 2014 Porsche GT3 and I believe Matt owned that GT3 for four years. He had no paint protection film on it. He would use the car, he would take it up to the to mountains in Tennessee and rip it. And he did have some rock chips. He traded that GT3 in last year and bought a 3RS. And I think he got a good trade-in value for it based on the mileage and the shape the car was in. So I don't think a rock chip here or there is gonna really, in the big scheme of things, prevent someone from giving you a top price for your GT3 if it's in good shape, it has low miles, it hasn't been any accidents, and the rock chips aren't just, you know, so massive that, you know, it's just an eyesore. So keeping that in mind, I'm leaning towards not getting the PPF. Um, but I really wanna know what you guys think. Do you think if I don't get the PPF, if it, will diminish my future trade-in value or future resale value. The plan that I have for the GT3 is to own it for four years and enjoy it and not really worry about, you know, rock chips. Um, or should I get it paint protected and sort of uh, look at it as an investment? Um, Personally, I don't think the GT3 is the type of car where it's going to drastically go up in value. I just don't think so. I think it's a special car. I think it's a super car, but I don't believe it's a limited, rare, 
you can't get your hands on one type of car, so why protect it? Why spend an additional three grand to have the car perfect for its next owner? So that's sort of where I'm at right now with that. But again, I'd love to hear y'all's opinion whether you think I should PPF the GT3 or not. Well guys, thank you for taking time out of your day to check out this video. If you like the video, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, please consider subscribing and share the video. And just a quick update, the GT3 is actually on the vessel heading from Germany to the United States. My ETA is February 23rd. So I'm thinking it will come into either the port of Miami or the port of Jacksonville, Florida. And from there, it'll be put on the transport and brought down to Fort Myers to my local Porsche dealer where I'll be picking the car up from. So I'm thinking by the end of February, first week in March, the GT3 will be here. And certainly I'll do a, a, a delivery video uh, when it gets here. All right, guys, you guys have a good one and I'll see you on the next video. Stay peace.